guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Giovanna Lenardi, and if you're not, then you already know. It's currently 5.30. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I get all of my homework out of the way so that on Sunday, I can just do a reset and relax instead of having to worry about homework. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna try to go on a walk because I need to be more active. I haven't been going to the gym lately, and today is Saturday, which is usually my reset day. So I'm gonna convince myself that today I'm just gonna go on an easy walk, and tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym. I already have my desk all set up. I have my computer. I have my journal so that I can make a to-do list. I have a snack as well because I usually get so hungry doing homework and obviously my water and then of course my backpack where all of my work actually is. Recently I haven't been getting a lot of homework especially if it's paper homework because most of the homework is all on the computer and it's not much. The only paper thing that I have that I am currently aware of is having to read the next chapter of The Great Gatsby for my American literature class. The homework that I currently know I need to do is some Delta math for my Algebra 2 class. Obviously read the next chapter of The Great Gatsby. I also have to check up on a paragraph that I'm supposed to be writing for my U.S. history class. I think that's all we have to do, so it's going to be pretty easy, but obviously I'm going to have to check. But instead of yapping, let's just get to doing my homework and not procrastinating more than I already have. this video as quickly as possible so we can head outside before the sun sets. I'm definitely going to bring my book out. I'm currently reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets so that I can read at least another chapter, enjoy the nature, take a walk, do some movement, and just motivate myself even more to come back home and do the last couple things I need to do before I go to bed. snack did not fill me up and you guys might even make fun of me for the little food combo I'm about to show you but I'm not willing to touch the stove tonight because I'm way too exhausted to make food and then have to clean all the dishes and then all this extra stuff no thanks that's not me tonight so instead I'm just gonna make myself some mac and cheese and I'm also going to air fry some roasted chicken pieces it's hot chicken so it's kind of spicy I always get it at star market it's so freaking good I could eat this whole thing honestly but we have to be polite and ladylike so I'm not gonna eat the whole thing <laughs> I'm gonna save myself some for tomorrow. That's dinner, guys. Super simple, super easy. Gonna be done in like five minutes. <laughs>
I am currently working at an elementary school for an after school program and I'm currently working with kindergartners. Before I even say anything, I just wanna make it known, I'm so happy that I chose this job. I love this job. I'm so, so, so happy I chose this over a retail job because I would have hated that and I love my job. Let me just make that clear. I love what I do. So I started this Monday and when I started, we were low staffed. It was the craziest day ever out of the whole week it was probably the worst day my first day of course and i thought it was going to be easy because it was my first day i was just going to get to know the kids and i was going to sort of float around hell girl no no girl it was a full day of hard work i don't think i worked that hard all week i get there <laughs> How do I even tell you guys how my day went? I get there, I clock in, work starts. Cause I do so much better with innocent groups like kindergartners and I thought they were innocent. <laughs> I thought they were innocent, okay? Hmm. At the school that I work at, we have some siblings who are notoriously known for their bad behavior. One of them being one of my kindergartners. I obviously couldn't say much. I couldn't yell. I couldn't be super teacher-like because it was my first day and I was supposed to be floating around. And because we were so low staffed, I basically was floating around. So I was with all groups from K to five on my first day. On my first day, I got to speaking to some kindergartners. I spoke to this specific pair of best friends. They are literally the cutest. When they both found out that I'm Brazilian, they would not stop calling me Chia, which is a perfect translation would be aunt, but that's just in our culture, a way to be polite to any woman that you meet. I spoke to them. They would not stop calling me Chia all day, but one of them specifically is probably the most Brazilian kid I've ever seen because he speaks just like Cascão from Tuma da Monica. If you don't know what I'm talking about, search it up. And he would not stop calling me his girlfriend in Portuguese. And to this day, he continues to do it. And he sees that I tell him to stop doing it, which is why he keeps doing it. And I noticed that the first time I told him to stop doing it. So now I just tell him, I'm gonna tell his parents. And he's like, I don't care. I tell my parents how much I love you and that you're so pretty. And I'm like, I feel so thankful that you're mentioning me and you're saying that I'm so pretty, but you cannot be calling me your girlfriend in front of all of these other people. We gotta, we gotta cut that. And he, every day, says it to me with a smile on his face mocking me because he knows that i've t already told him a hundred times to stop doing it his friend though is literally the absolute cutest he is so sweet he's like a little quiet and he's an angel he's adorable he's so cute all of them are adorable and so cute may i just say and on that first day we also had an accident yeah and i had to take care of it there's this poor little girl she was crying because she missed her mom and we decided to just walk around the cafeteria which is where we were hanging out and every time we walked around she would get faster and faster and i would ask her hey like do you need to use the bathroom? Uh-uh, can we just keep, please keep walking? Please keep walking. I was like, okay. And she stopped and we had an accident and I took care of that. And then the next day, pretty intermediate, pretty basic. And then the next day, and then Thursday, we had another accident. I also took care of that. And then yesterday we had another accident and I also took care of that. So my first day was definitely my most eventful day because there was so much going on and I was still new. But because I work with kindergartners, I am designated to deal with the accidents because nobody else will. So that was my work week. <laughs> it was actually great. I know it seems like it wasn't that great, but there were so many good parts. I mean, I literally became friends with all of my kindergartners. They love me and I love them. They're amazing, they're awesome. Oh, we have so many sassy first and second graders. Let me just tell you, this one first grade girl has so much aura and I hate to bring brain rot into this, but she's like aura king in the room. She's so damn sassy. Whatever you tell her, she looks at you just like, duh. Oh. Like she, whatever you say to her, she gives you so much sass back. It's always like, well, I'm gonna tell your parents. Girl, I don't care, tell her then. Okay. <laughs> She's actually so freaking awesome. She's so funny. I love talking to her. She's amazing. My work week was crazy. It was awesome. It was cool. I love my job. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else other than this, even though sometimes it's pretty hectic. I love kids. I love working with kids. This job is perfect for me. That was my skincare. We did a lot. I know I didn't show you guys all of my products. Let me see if I can line them up so that I can show you everything I used in order. This is my lineup. So I first went in with the Polish Choice Exfoliant. Then I put in some of the Ordinary Glyconic Acid. I put in some Snail Mucin, some CeraVe Daily Lotion, some castor oil on my brows and lashes. And then lastly, I put a Laneige lip mask on. I'm pretty sure this is grapefruit flavored. It's amazing. I love it. I have to fight myself not to lick my lips, but this is my skincare lineup for the night. Now I'm going to light my candle, sit in my bed, watch a movie, and end the night off right.